So it's Sunday, November 13th, 3.16 p.m. Yeah, I have no clue what they're gonna build here. I remember Kermit the Frog and Sesame Street, one of, one of the uh, little shows there. He's he stated, "I haven't the froggiest." I think that was uh, when he portrayed uh, a reporter, Kermit the Frog, the reporter. And that's that's all sorghum. You can see the sorghum, the seeds. Not sure why they even planted the sorghum so late in the season. There's some light poles there, hidden in that brush. And I've seen, when it floods, I've seen this, the water go over and out into the field. over the bank headed back home time to make dinner some sloppy joes see how the water can't pick it up but the water is trickling down Okay, there you go. And then it'll go off into the canal. I'll be back in a few weeks and see what they got growing here. I'll turn off the camera probably at the five minute mark maybe up onto the uh, the road Lots of dirt, so I guess they're gonna elevate, make this higher since this is it is flood prone. As long as I don't make a school, uh, not a school, a uh, subdivision here, which I doubt it because I don't. Doesn't look like other places where I've seen subdivisions being built. Okay. I 
there's that bow we were trapped that I kind of put back up. It's about 3.20 already, so it's getting late. Less than five hours until bedtime. Hoping the weather will be great next Sunday so that way I can go to Mexico or if I don't or if I don't go to Mexico go to Harlington. And that's that, uh, that breezes yeah, over the homes. With all this flooding, they've always, always come out on TV. Whatever they're gonna do there, it's gonna be deep. for this car to pass so I can cross the street. Got some water there. Not sure what those are for. They look like gaskets for a something cement. Right, so thank you for joining.